guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have come back my last video was blocked because of copyright issues because great big hero 6 was playing too loud in the background so I hurried up and did this one so this is posted later than what I would like but I'm still trying to keep with posting on Mondays but this is from the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette which I love, love, love. Palette's fantastic. It's so heavy, feels nice. Even after I use all these shades, I can still use this box for something, you know? It's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really sturdy. And there, it's beautiful, just beautiful. So I'm using this palette and this palette only the eyeshadow and then I have a Morphe and some Unique and um, the gloss. I only got one shade. I got Diamond Juice. It's still beautiful. But if you want to see how I got this look using the Blue Bud palette, keep watching. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, hey. So, do you hear that? That silence. Mm, I love it. Okay. So, real talk. I recorded a video last week, edited it, did all that good stuff, ready to post it. And I accidentally posted it, and then I realized, oh, should I even private it? You know, while I was editing all the stuff in it. So, YouTube sent me an email, copyrighted stuff, because Big Hero 6 was playing really loud in the background. And at that point on, I knew I have to get rid of the kids. I don't know how I'm going to do it. No, it's, uh, they're sleeping. It is almost midnight. So there was no video last week. I'm going to do better about recording whenever I get a chance. Um, mostly on the nights I'm off, just stay up late, um, spend time with the husband. And then record. That's a perfect opportunity to have some wine. Perfect. So I'm gonna sit here. And I'm probably gonna drink what's left of this bottle of wine. And then I'm gonna do some makeup. So <laughs> that's my plan. Also, what I like to call mommy juice. Ooh, this is from the year 2017 and it tastes delicious. Also, my very best friend got me this wine glass and I love it. I have another one, but I haven't used it yet. I know one of my friends got me. It's a sugar skull one and it's like silicone, so I can't break it. Mmm. Anyways, so, hold on one second. I'm back. My package came. My package came. Um, I don't have the makeup bag out here, although it's very cute. Um, this is the gloss. This is in the shade Diamond Juice. And it smells so good. So good. I've been using this almost every day. Almost every day. Let me prime because you gotta let the primer sit for a few minutes. It's so weird to film with nobody around. So, oh yes, a prime, and I'm gonna do face makeup last. Just because I'm not exactly sure about the fallout. Um, I've played with this palette twice. The first time I just did a very basic um, blue eyeliner I used to cease to like line the, what are these, I, <laughs> the lash line on top and on bottom. But it's here. 
and it's just as magnificent as I thought it would be. You guys, this is like luxury, okay? Luxury. Look at how beautiful it is. Just stuck my finger in that one. But look at it. You can also see the pictures from my wedding. Me and my husband, my daughter, my son. <laughs> well, look how beautiful it is. Foam. So I have swatched a few shades. I have used these two shades quite a bit. You can see the, some of the fallout on this one. Um, what day was that? I want to say it was Thursday. I thought I was going to be cool and like, Let, let's play with this palette before work. Like, I was that hard pressed. Like, I really wanted to play with it. And I realized, I don't have time for this. I have to get ready for work. So I wiped it off. It just went basic for the day, but I don't know what to do. Like, they're so beautiful. I don't know. I don't even know where to start. I don't. I'm going to tell you where I'm going to start. Is some concealer on my eyelids. To kind of prep those. I'm just going to use my finger because that's easiest. So. I am, um, I think tomorrow, going to, tomorrow night, going to refilm that video. And, um, it didn't, the look didn't turn out the way I wanted, wanted it to to begin with. So I'm not really too worried about it. Should I do my brows? Since I'm... Yeah, let's get the brows out of the way. I'm going to do my brows off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Brows are done. I can perfect them again later. Right now I just have like the basic set down and I'm okay with it. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. So now that that's down. I'm like shaking. I'm so nervous because I don't even know what to do with this. It's so pretty. If I get it open. There we go. So number one, I'm going to start with setting down. Um, I think I'm going to go into Wealthy, which is the shade right here. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. So I can blend. No, I kind of like, I didn't watch any tutorials other than Jeffrey's. And, um, kind of just look to see what everybody else was doing like get some ideas so I'm gonna see what I can come up with here okay just not feeling any areas that are sticky so good more wine. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm cold and minty are just like calling to me. Let's do minty. I am going to grab 
This is a Farah brush. Um, it's a Farah 335E. I got it in Ipsy, of course, and I'm just going to tap into mint tea. There is some kick up, which I'm, I'm totally fine with, which is that green color. And I'm just going to start to lay that in the crease there. And I'm just going to keep building it. Mm hmm. No, I'm in no way, shape, or form a professional makeup artist. I just see something I like and I'm like, let me do that. Actually, I think I'm going to switch to like a smaller blending brush. This is Skin Iceland. It's solution for stress skin. Limited edition berry lip fix with wintered red algae. I don't know. It's thick like Vaseline. It tastes good. Well, it doesn't taste good. I don't really taste it. It doesn't taste good, I think. But it smells like it would taste good. Here we go. This Elizabeth Mott blending brush. We're going to try that one instead and see if I can get a little bit more. There we go. Um, I love the blues, but I think we're going to try some of the greens today. Let's see what we can do with the greens. We're going to start out with the Farrah brush that kind of, that does a really good job of laying it down. And then I can kind of keep building on it. Just like that. See how you lay it down and then. gonna take this brush and just make sure those edges are blended nicely. Now I want a smaller brush. This is a small taper blending brush. Do I have a smaller one? I just want to kind of make sure I'm precise. What is this one? It doesn't say but it's bigger because I am going to go into flourishing, which is this green, and I'm going to really center that lower on the lid. Just gonna kind of pack it and then start to blend it. build that color. Hey. 
It's looking so cute. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of pack it and then blend. You guys, I have been so stressed out lately. And again, it's because I just don't, I never have time to myself. You know, I'm always taking care of somebody, which is fine. Well, my job is to take care of people. I work as a PCT. So that's not the issue. Like, I'm totally, I'm good with that. That's my job, and I know that, and I knew that when I, you know, applied. But, and because I also saw Unique in my business, we really focus on, um, just helping to build up other women and something that they say that I wholeheartedly looks like a really weird age whole that I wholeheartedly believe is you cannot fill somebody else's cup when yours is empty you can't and I really I'm starting to feel like my cup is empty. I'm no professional. I'm not sure if it's my scanner eyelids or if it's just that maybe this color. Don't get me wrong, this color. The pigment is beautiful. But up close, and I don't know if you can see it. But you see how it's a little streaky. See it? It also feels a little dry. Let me show you something here. You see how it's like weird like that? I don't know probably just me because I know nothing about how to make makeup the process that goes in honestly this is probably the first time I've ever used a color like this so it's probably just me I'm gonna dip back into mint tea and put that back in the crease and just kind of buff it out. Now, <laughs> I almost want to be brave and try a cut crease. I've never tried it before. I don't know if I want to just put in title down and then like calling in or what I could put cremate cremate it's kind of like a it's kind of like this green, dark green bluish color gray it's a weird color like that it's a beautiful color it's kind of weird um let's grab this brush this is just a um Vasanti contour eye brush and we're gonna just grab a little bit of this cremated and just pop it right over here and I want to kind of do it real light and I don't want to take it too far in that's cute Keep it real low. Do the same on the other side. Just want to keep it on that outer V. I can't even tell you guys 
how relaxing just just this has been you know I have my 13 year old son who has an internet girlfriend who also ran away a couple weeks uh, actually like less about a week after his birthday he ran away I love that actually so been dealing with that and I swear that I thought he was being um, catfished and somebody trying to you know use him it's been a mess and then my nine-year-old who I swear to God she hates me like there's no way she just hates me so and my cup being empty like this this is just this little thing is like filling my cup and guess what I've only been doing it for like 20 minutes and I've gotten this far <laughs> okay now on a clean finger because that's how I like to work with my metallics I have not found a brush that works well with metallics for me that doesn't do a better payoff than the finger I'm going to take entitled which is this color and I'm going to start to pack that on the lid and I wanted to darken up the corner to darken see how it did that to darken up this I'm gonna take it all the way to the inner corner I know it's late and so many people have reviewed this but I bought it with my own money so I kind of had to wait till I had the money I'm gonna go back into cremated a little bit and just add a little bit more to that outer V and a little bit in the crease just to further darken it I want definition. Even after that, it stays a little shimmery. So anyways, you know, plus, um, their last day of school was Friday, so I really I have no time away from them. Oh, I also got another palette from Ipsy that I paid extra for. It's just like one of their little extra things um, that maybe I'll do. I'll film tomorrow. I think you guys are going to get two videos this week because I'm going to edit this one tomorrow and post it as soon as I'm done editing it and then I'm going to film another one tomorrow so Monday night or tonight however you want to look at it and post it and then I work Tuesday night so I'll film something Wednesday and Thursday for next week there actually doesn't look bad I'm actually really liking it I'm going to go in with this actually I take my fluffy burning bush it has like nothing on it and I'm just going to lightly blend it out everything in this crease here Tandy 
nice. Now I'm going to take another clean finger and I'm going to use Cullinan, which is this white one. It's so pretty. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. Lay that down. Go back in with that green and kind of blend the two together. There's that. I'm going to go and get a makeup wipe. Okay, I'll get my wipes. Got a refill. So now I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Where's that? My cat's being weird. Now, tough decision. Tough decision. Do I want to go in with liquid or stick? Well, we'll do stick. This is the unique stick foundation. I love this stuff. I am in the shade Taffeta. I'm going to pout to kind of disperse the product some. This is full coverage. Oops, so just pounce it around. Once you do that, you can start to buff it. And drag it down your neck. I've had like Elton John and I you know what I I've liked Elton John before this movie but I also have not seen yet but like since I've been hearing it and seeing it everywhere like I'm obsessed there's that I'm going to take my concealer I'm going to oh wait I lied I am going to take 
my Splurge Cream Eyeshadow in Bittersweet and apply that first. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so there's that. Now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and Light Neutral. I'm just going to start by concealing the eyes. I'm going to take it down. And I did stop at Ulta to get more, so this is where I really get red highlights. up in there so there is that I'm going to start to pout maybe one day I will try a cut grease it's just like I don't wear false lashes because I'm just not good at them. It is not my area of expertise, I guess you could say. that so I'm running low on this too but fortunately I have another one I'm going to take my touch behold setting spray spray a little bit on that pick up and buff it in there a little bit more I don't know if this actually does anything. It makes me feel like it does something, so. Why not I do the same on this side? There's that. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is a Farrah 50F brush and just kind of apply it anywhere that I put concealer to help it stay. So there is that. Before I move on to the under eye, I'm going to take my Morphe. Um, this is the AL Lo-Fi palettes. I really like this. I'm going to take my bronzing brush and I'm going to dip into Debutante. And I'm just going to bronze up the cheeks a little bit. Down the neck. Same on this side. Bronze up them cheeks. And do I not? I don't think I have a brush out here for it, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to take this little brush and I'm going to dip into Debutante. And I'm just going to chisel out those cheekbones here. Even though they're already pretty chiseled out, 
not to toot my own horn or anything. My double chins. Let's only have one chin. I think it's a fantastic idea. You really only need one chin to begin with, right? Right. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring of the nose. Overdone it. I'm gonna take your bronzing brush. Just kind of blend. So there's that. Now, favorite go to um, blush. You guys already know because I use it in pretty much every video. Milani Luminoso. I'm just gonna take this me 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 blush brush. Pretty sure I got it in an Ipsy bag. I'm just going to apply it to the cheeks. That's it. Now I also got skin frost these are so these are huge huge well worth the money I don't even remember how much I paid for it but it was worth the money if I can get it open without ruining it I got Serbian gold and I love it love it it's fantastic I wish I had like better highlighting brush and this isn't even like that good of a highlighting brush like I have a different one but This is the usual highlighting brush I use because I have to kind of blend it in. went a little heavy in the shade it's a beautiful shade but I think it's a little dark for me because if you look straight on you can see kind of like darkness which is totally my fault it's got nothing to do with the product that's how I applied it so actually yeah okay now let's finish off the eyes okay okay is running I don't know why so I'm going to pretty much just do the same thing I am actually going to start off with wealthy J 
just to kind of give it something to hold on to. Now that, oh God, my nose are just. I'm gonna go with this Elizabeth Mop brush and dip into mint tea. And just start to kind of build it. My nose won't stop running. Jeez, oh, Pete. that then I'm going to take this brush again and dip back into flourishing and bring that in about halfway I took mint tea pretty much all the way Now, just in the outer corner, I'm going to go and I'm going to take cremated. Just in the outer part. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm going to take actually this brush, dip back into wealthy and kind of. Blend out the bottom there. Bam. I'm going to do my lashes off camera and then I'll be back. All right, guys. That's it. I took my hair down out of the parades. Hopefully, uh, this weekend I'm going to get my hair done so it'll be shorter and cuter. And this is the look, and I love it. So I have three kind of nudie shades. I'm trying to think. Now they do think this one. This is sympathetic. This is the uh, unique splash liquid lipstick. I just heard a phone vibrating. And I thought it was my phone, but I'm on my phone. <laughs> mm. Now this does dry down matte. Very matte. It's comfortable, it's soft. I'm going to give it a minute to kind of set before I put on my fave. So this look, what do you guys think? I love it. I'm so happy, I'm so happy with it. Almost makes me wish I was going somewhere and I really wanna drink my wine, but my lips are wet still. I mean. I mean, not a ton comes off. Makes me really wish I was going out somewhere tonight. But I'm not. I'm at home. Can't wait to get this hair done. I'm going to sit around. I'm going to start to edit this video. Oh, I got to get 
in the shower because I'm just obsessed with it. I love it so much. What do you guys think? The colors, oh, they're so pretty and perfect. And God, Jeffrey, you did a fantastic job. This is, honestly, these are the first products of yours I've ever bought because they are pricey and I didn't really see anything that like jumped out except for the highlighters, but I'm like, mm, it's a highlighter, you know? I'm this, this is a different highlight, you know? Like the over one is so good. It's one of my favorites, but Jeffrey like, I'm going to try a different one by him, though. And then, you know, now I'm so sad because what's today? Today is now the 17th. And in five days, the Jawbreaker collection drops. And, of course, I want the big Jawbreaker and then the mini breaker. I think it's like 72 bucks, but I can't justify that just yet. I'm really sad. Dry enough. Now this, this is like new. You see, it's so glittery. It's got a little hint, not too much. So. so good yeah it feels so so good it looks so good that's it that's the finished look I have mascara I always get mascara up there I don't know how they do it where they don't but I always do so this is it this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it um this palette was well worth the money even though it was released a, a while ago I don't even remember when but this palette really jumped out to me I have my favorite color is blue so this palette was like I have to have it and it was well worth the money and worth the time I'm so happy with it I love it so much and I need to find a way to wear it to work so I can wear it every single day because this look I couldn't wear to work it's gotta be professional makeup I mean, it looks professional, don't it? Anyways, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'm sorry this video's a little late. I'm gonna try to do better to make backup videos and now I'm going to be trying to start to film after the kids go to bed and really stick to that um, on my off days. That way not only do I have backups, but it's quiet and this is really my time to just fill my cup. You know what I'm saying? Like, bring it back. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!